Ladies and gentlemen, I am Muskan Behune from Marketing Mind, an online platform for all the latest update in marketing, advertising and business. And you are watching Marketing Mind's latest chat show, He Said, She Said, brought to you by Robert. Robert is a one-stop shop for all sorts of accessories and they are making incredible fashion for incredible people. And we together present to you stories of the most fiercest, funniest and most fabulous he's and she's from the world of entrepreneurship. This is probably the only place where you'll find corporates being really candid. So brace yourself for a chat show that's bound to leave you inspired and doubled over with laughter. Let's go. Forget Batman and Superman because this superhero is making waves in the youth mental health awareness and reminding us that kindness is the new cool and laughter is contagious. Welcoming Nikhil Taneja, co-founder and chief of Yuva. Hi Nikhil, what's up? Hi Muskan, that's such a nice introduction. Thank Hi. you so much. You call Thank me a superhero. You. I am obsessed with superheroes, so Are you? I feel really Are you? good. Although typically I actually wear you know, some sort of a superhero t-shirt, <laughs> but uh, I was trying to look cool today. You should have worn today. Yeah, I was trying to look uh, cool uh, uh, for this amazing chat show. I actually want a Tom and Jerry t-shirt, so <laughs> I don't know if that's a step up or a step down, but... Um, it's cute. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for doing this. So, you know, you are this fantastic storyteller. So, I would like you to start with telling me and everyone here the, the most memorable story of your life. It can be, wow. yeah, anything. The most memorable story of my life. Yeah. Uh, when anyone starts by saying you're a great storyteller, it's a pressure. Which such story tell me that's so memorable? Hai? Something that's very close to your heart. I'll, uh, you know, I'll tell you the story that kind of set me on uh, this path. So I had a friend who was uh, my roommate in first. I've done engineering. I've done uh, engineering from NIT Kurukshetra, okay. and I used to be a writer along the side. So I used I started writing very early. I used to get published in. Uh, magazines and newspapers since mm. I was 14. So, um, and I, everyone in campus knew that I'm this person who writes, who talks and who does all these yeah. extracurricular activities. So, this guy bumped into me in the garden once and you're like, this is time okay, baat nahi. So, he sat down. He's like, uh, so what's happening with you? I said, hogi placement in mm. uh, two companies. Mein. So, I'm very happy. He sorted everything great. He's like, great, great. He's like, you're the first time you have to know, writing, go to media. So, then you took the tech companies. I said, it's a good question, but I was thinking that one company will place Bombay. So I'll go to Bombay, then I'll go to Bombay, then I'll go to the side, then I'll go to the side. Then when I'll go to the side, then I'll leave that and uh, then I'll leave my tech job and then I'll start over there. This full time. Haan. He's like, uh, but you were doing side here. I said, yes, but you're in college, right? So I'm doing it on the side. Then when the job is done, I'm doing it He's like, yeah, this is good. You're doing it on the side of the college. Then when you have a job, you will do it on the side. Then you do an MBA, then you will do it on the side. Then you will do it on the side. Then you will die and you will die on the side. And he just said this in this matter of fact way and said, the light came suddenly and he's just like, chal, bye. And he's left. And I'm like, what did he say? You kept thinking about it. Yeah, I was like, बात तो सही है, you know मेरी तो life खत्म हो जाएगी and I'll just be doing this on the side only, you know when will I make this my plan A instead of you know keeping this as my plan B I really love it and that day onwards it's a random day like the next six months आज तक अपने को job मिल गई है, that's my backup, I now need to figure out whatever I can to get to Bombay and find a job in media and and that was 15 years ago, so in fact we are sitting here I don't know when the show is released but on July sixth uh, of uh, this month uh, was yeah. July 6th, 2008 is when I landed up in Bombay. July 7th, 2008 is when I started my... I uh, saw your story yeah, on I started working. Yeah, yeah, I started working in Hindustan Times and since then it's been 15 years. Oh so, yeah, that's, <laughs> a, a that's a very <laughs> random reason for me to, to have <laughs> taken this a lot more seriously than I would have. Uh -huh. So, a big thank you to him. So, it's very interesting. Yeah. And uh, also, you know, like, almost everyone knows you are. But for those of you, uh, like for those who don't know, yeah. uh, I would like you to uh, tell them about you or introduce you. Yeah. But in less than one minute, I'll put a stop for. That is the worst thing you can ask me to do. <laughs> I, know, you, I you cannot know. talk in short. That's why I don't reels. You do reels. I'm very cut. 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 I'm very
तो टीम का रिस्पॉन्सिट में आठ मिनट का तो एक मिनट का समय निकाल कर डालो मतलब हमारी पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन टीम को भी बहुत काम करना है बहुत काम करना पड़ेगा मुझे आते नहीं शॉर्ट में करना बट बट आई कैन ट्राई टाइम स्टार्ट्स नाउ ओके सो आई थिंक द फिलोसफी ऑफ यू आई इज टू मेक important things interesting for young people uh, are uh, we feel like this is a generation where every young person has a lot to say but there is very few people who are willing to listen so you are wants and is trying to be a platform that listens to young people we are right now youth media research and impact driven company where we are doing everything from content to events to activations to campaigns we work with india's top brands and non profits with the aim of the taking the urgent issues of young people and making it accessible to young people the intent has always been that i feel like we are you know gen z this generation has some of the loneliest indians i think we've ever met uh, because there's a big gap between you know the generation gap that has always existed between parents and children mm. has now become a communication gap so they really feel lonely they just mm. feel they're not heard as much so we want to make young indians feel less alone mm. and for that i think you guys become a platform that listens to them oh wow you did it in 1 minute 5 seconds that's okay. not bad not yeah. bad <laughs> not bad not bad nice, nice. i bet team will be shocked now you can make reels again yeah i know i can't i we cannot put this out because my team will be like acha tumne wahan to kar diya yahan to kar de nahi and it came in a research that you interviewed sharukh khan when you were 19 yeah. so Very How did that happen? Uh, I've actually interviewed Sharukh now three times. Um, oh wow! And uh, so I I used to be a, a youth youth journalist, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, there was a magazine called Young Times, and I grew up in uh, the Middle East. Uh, mm. I was in Dubai first for four years, then since then my parents have been in Bahrain. I think for twenty five years now. There used to be a youth magazine called Young Times, which is mm. part of the Khalish Times group. They used to ask for uh, you know student contributors and young contributors to write for them, etc., yeah. etc. Yeah. It was typically for their letters to the editor page, you know, yeah. write a letter to us, write a letter to us. Or there was one other contribution page, which was a drawing page. That if you if you're a good artist. I I guess I know this story. Yeah, they, they took your brother's <laughs> article and they didn't take yours. It was a very embarrassing. Right? My journey for uh, my journey to being a writer has started from with drawing. jealousy. <laughs> It has started from envy at my little brother, whose paintings used to get published. Yeah. But my paintings, which were actually yeah. actually plagiarized, copied, I used to transparently just. <laughs> you know, so they would see through. They like, ये तो you know <laughs> transparent कर कर के तुमने छाप दिया. Yeah. So obviously it was not getting published. Yeah. And one day I wrote this very angry letter to them that yeah. you know मेरे भाई की इतनी सारी तुमने मेरी क्यों नहीं किया? And then they published a letter. And I was like, अरे मेरी writing published हो गई. Drawing published नहीं हो रही. अब writing हाँ मेरी writing थोड़ी और करते हैं. So then they I used to keep writing letters to them. They used to keep publishing it. And somewhere this was the early days of the internet where you know they used to have email IDs given or whatever. I had just got an email account. I was I think about thirteen at that time. and uh, i was like uh, you know i also had a lot of excitement yeah. the, you know everything is on my fingertips suddenly yeah. with the internet so i just wrote to them i was like i really like writing to you you keep publishing yeah. can i do something for you in bahrain can i you know yeah. and uh, they said yes they said sure you can be our bahrain correspondent and i was 13 i said so this is insane 13 yeah so i started interviewing a bunch of folks i interviewed Shankar Mahadevan at like thirteen, fourteen. I oh interviewed the Junoon, the band. I interviewed Michael Schumacher. By that time, I was seventeen. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, I and then uh, even when I come to NIT Kurukshetra and started studying uh, engineering, KBC was happening in Bombay, huh. and um, yeah, I got the opportunity to go and cover KBC and meet Shahrukh Khan and spend twenty minutes with him. Huh. The most insane. a day of my life and the the stupid and funny thing is that i missed the flight on the morning of the interview with sharukh khan oh my god because really? yeah because i had to go from nid kurukshetra which oh. is in kurukshetra to delhi airport and which which is haryana to the delhi airport which typically takes a certain amount of time and then there was actually traffic <laughs> on that day and then by the time i reached i was like Why frantic i was late i missed the flight i was and i was trying to explain to this guy you don't understand i have to meet sharukh khan and they must be like <laughs> पागल getting to discover different folks in the industry etc till then i made a list who are the people that i would want to meet before i if i ever move out of journalism which i hoped i would that i would it's a tick mark for me so i made like 
you know, fifteen twenty list yeah. and met every one of them. And today, oh, wow. I'm I'm fortunate to have worked with some of them. Oh, wow. They said people like Anurag Kashyap, Devakar Banerjee, Shujit Sarkar, Vikramaditya Motwani. All of these people, yeah. I was just huge fans of. And then I got to meet them. I got to talk to them. Yeah. I actually got to work with them later in life. So yeah. I interviewed most of these people, and then I was only interviewing them again. You know, because that's what happens in journalism. You you do everything, and, and then you do it again. You do it again. And journalism, unfortunately, works in this way where obviously they want the most current piece of news. Right. So yeah, the next right. exactly the next time if uh, if uh, I'm meeting Katrina Kaif second time after the first time I have got an opportunity to ask questions that I care about. Second time it is you have to ask why Malaika didn't ditch you at this place or whatever it is, <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> आज रणबीर कपूर की इमरान खान और तुम्हारी बीच में जो टक्कर चल रही है यू नो हाउ आर यू डीलिंग उसकी हाउ आर यू डीलिंग विद दैट एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक आई डोंट वांट टू आस्क हिम दिस तुमने उस दिन वो फैन को देखा या ये एग्जैक्टली आई वाज आस्क्ड टू गो टू आई डोंट नो इफ दिस इज स्टोरी आई शुड बी टेलिंग ऑन कैमरा बट आई वाज आस्क्ड एज अ आई वाज थ्रोन इन द लायंस डेन एंड वाज आई वाज अ 22 ईयर ओल्ड हु वाज सेंट टू इंटरव्यू सलमान खान एंड आस्किंग अबाउट द शाहरुख खान फाइट Oh my god nobody there was so many senior journalists nobody so wanted to dare to do, to do yeah, this yeah. and then they said kya karenge karna to hai and they were like nikhil bahut phudakta hai na life ke andar aisa kar tum jao salman khan ko milo and go and ask him this question and i'm telling you you did of course i had to i didn't have an option yeah of course i was getting to meet salman khan i was like why not and then the second then obviously i'm a journalist the answer was something else but i can tell you like what i when you're interviewing salman khan and These are things that I should be telling on camera, but people look into your eyes. Salman Khan looks into your soul. Okay, you ask him a question, he doesn't like. He will, he will look at you in a way where you feel like you know, you you know what is what what is the possibilities of what can happen to you. But I mean, I don't know for whatever reason he was. Maybe it was just the fact that I was this kid journalist in front of him or whatever. But he he kept saying, "Why are you asking this question?" And and he also asked me, "Who asked you to ask me this question?" So he kind of got it. Okay, yeah. now I am the bakra yeah, who's been I saint. Yeah, yeah. So then he was like, "Okay, so I'll come. I'll answer it." So yeah. he was in that sense. I think he was he was generous to me yeah. that he gave me answers that became your cover stories and headlines and whatnot. Oh. And uh, and then I was like, if I had a feather on my cap. Like, Salman ke jaake Shahrukh ke ane puch ke aaye. Ab who can beat me now? <laughs> So so yeah I've done all kinds of things yaar You have such fun stories to tell <laughs> and such uh, incredible incidents but you know we have a board game planned sure. which is like exclusively designed for this show so now we'll start with the board game yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun Very Do you exciting. like board games in general Sure. <laughs> I mean, I used to play a lot of them uh, when I was young, but I'm actually very uh, interested in seeing what this would look like. So, okay. very excited. Let's get started. Yeah, let's okay. get started. Okay, so we have this really fun board game. It's called No More Small Talks because. We're not here for small talks, and yeah. we aren't having any small talks. Yeah, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't uh, talk small anyway, so <laughs> this is a perfect game for me. I'll only do large talks. <laughs> perfect. So, yeah. Which color would you like to choose? Uh, blue. Red, blue, blue. Always. So very simple. You'll roll the dice. Okay. And wherever you land, it's like if you get two, you land here. So wherever oh. you land, there's a small task uh, written, and you have to complete that task. Okay. Okay. Fun. Okay. Let's start. Sure. Okay. Um, I haven't played games in a long time. I think this All is still how they throw dice. So let me see what happens. Oh wow! Six. six. Okay. Two, three, three, four, five, six. Okay. Dare to dare do. Dare to do. So. You throw dare. What are you going to make me do now? I, I will. Ha. You have to mimic your favorite actor. Mimic my favorite actor. Yeah. So the T C H has this scene at the end, and mm-hmm. I don't know why this is the way Saif Ali Khan speaks to Amir Khan at the at the pivotal mm-hmm. scene. It's always like, Ah, gosh, kya kar raha yar? Kya kar raha yar? And I've used that so many times with friends. <laughs> oh my god! You know, whatever my friends name is, kya kar raha yar? Kya kar raha yar? And they would just be like, Stop it! Okay, mm-hmm. next. Mm-hmm. Next. So how are we going to go from here? We're going to go yeah, yeah. this way. Okay, interesting. Five. मेरे सारे बड़े नंबर ही आ रहे हैं. Okay. Bust so the bust myth. The myth. Okay. So here you have to bust a myth about being an entrepreneur. What is something that people think is true about being an entrepreneur and which is not true? It's not glamorous at all. I think anybody people think being an entrepreneur is this cool thing, 
which is uh, you know uh, you're running a company you are like founder and ceo and what not these designations apne aap ko de dete hum log khush ho jate hain dikhate dekho founder ceo matlab ek hi insaan ho is company ke andar to founder ceo ho gaya na and uh, um, but this in, the understanding is that there is a lot of glamour associated with you know being especially startup india atmanirbharta mm-hmm. all of this na sab hum karenge sab mm-hmm. cool hai and then when you get down to it it is there is no glamour in it yes. so there is i think like it's a very hard profession you know uh, touch wood like again i feel like now we are in a successful place at ua so it's easier for me mm-hmm. but uh, it was so hard the five years have uh, we finished five years recently I've been the most exhausting five years of my life. But the fruitful. Most. Sure, yes, absolutely. I'm grateful again for, uh, you know, I don't think when I look back would I have not done this. I don't know. I think mm. I'm I'm really happy with what we have managed to do and achieve. But mm. I wish there was, a, I wish someone had told me it that was going to be it was going exhausting. to be this difficult. Yeah. Like I knew it would be not easy, but yeah. th- this is it's insane. Difficult. It's insane. It's the most difficult thing I've done in my life, mm. by far, you know. Oh. And I've done engineering, so just so you know. <laughs> okay, moving ahead with the game. Yes, yes. It's a fun game. I Are like this. I was just about to ask. Yeah, you I, I, I like it. <laughs> Let's do this more. One. One. Oh, okay. it is AMA. Ask AMA. me anything. So here you can ask me anything. Oh, you want. <laughs> fun. I like this. This is. Uh, uh, hey, we did it. Or what? After that, I can't go back no, again. No, no. You, you will have to go back. I, I want yeah. to go back. Yeah. Why I did it? I don't want to do it. I'm enjoying this. This is your first time hosting, right? No, no, it's not. You've done this before. Yeah. How did you know that uh, you know this is something you want to do? Uh, host and ask questions and interview and get to know people. Figured it out quite early. I mean, I got an opportunity later, but uh, I feel because I am a really extroverted person and I really love talking to people and getting to know their stories. So I was like looking for options where I can use this. Like okay. where so I don't have to work, like <laughs> sit in front of a laptop and for eight hours. So I was like, yeah. I can't do that. And I really love talking to people and going to new places and meeting new people. Okay. How can that be a part of my job? I also love being in front of the camera. Okay. So yeah, it was like this is the perfect thing to do. Okay, moving ahead. <laughs> Let's be fair to the board. Four. Four. Okay. Four. Okay. Never have I ever. Never have I ever. Interesting. Okay. So never have I ever regretted posting anything on Yuva. Posting anything on Yuva? Yeah. Something you posted later, you realized ki oh shit no, ye nahi jana chahiye. You know, uh, so we once made a meme. You know, I put a meme on uh, Yuva, which yeah. was that Rodi's meme. I mean, Rowdy's, जो cutie आपा ने बनाया था, yeah. Navin Kasturi and uh, Deepak Mishra जो वो बने थे, mm-hmm. Ranveer and yeah. this. So the thing कि तू है, तुझे पता नहीं है, तू है पर तू है, है ना? तो that meme very famous meme. So we put that meme, and the caption was. You to your sibling uh, that you're adopted. Tu hai, tu jab pata nahi hai, tu hai, tu hai. Wo you know? No, no, it was really. It was getting great traction. Okay. Because everyone is said this to ah, their sibling. Na, yeah, they're adopted, they're adopted, they're adopted. So people are laughing. We're ah. getting great traction. It was one of our, you know, popular posts at that time. Got lots of likes and whatnot. And then someone reached out to me on my DM. You okay. know, because again, you are my company, so a lot of people actually directly reached out to me uh, and said that uh, I have adopted a child. You know, and I feel like this is very insensitive because. It showcases. It 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 makes it sound like adoption is a bad thing, you know. That yeah. uh, if uh, someone's uh, made, uh, uh, if you're making fun, if if it's supposed to be funny, that you know you're adopting, yeah. it just normalizes the fact that ki adopt hoya bacha is any somehow lesser than the, you know, child who's been born biologically. Yeah. I never the mother who had said this and I just immediately I was like you know you shit, realize that you know we have yeah I was like we never thought of it this way so I immediately even though the it was you know doing really well and uh, my social media team is like only one person said how does it matter you know should we just mm-hmm. let it be I was like no yeah this is exactly what matters right exactly. like uh, if someone even one person is you know feeling and there's a very valid point it's not like this yeah, yeah. shit you know they're like very valid mm-hmm. point this is not something we should be doing mm-hmm. so we've made a lot of mistakes in that sense you know because we talk about these social issues so we have inevitably said something that sometimes end up being even insensitive to someone or the other yeah. next cool how do i get it to spill the tea if you get uh, what if i get four four okay <laughs> no okay aa gaya four four theek hai so what is something that you like about one thing that you like about gen z one thing uh, i like to lots of things uh empathy i genuinely think young people have a lot more empathy. empathy than our generation or even our older generations mm. did they are willing to understand yeah. 
people around them they're willing to change their ideas about the world uh, in your opinion which is an overhyped brand overhyped brand okay who are not my partners like we just <laughs> you are mein kis kis se kaam nahi karte hum log you uh, wanted something controversial yeah, <laughs> actually good good boy you've caught me there overhyped brand i don't use I mean, कौन से इट इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन आई आई वॉन्ट टू हैव एन आंसर टू दिस आई डोंट थिंक आई मीन आई थिंक द इंडस्ट्री ऑफ क्रिप्टो एंड आई नो आई गेट मे बी लॉट ऑफ फ्लैक फॉर दिस आई थिंक इट्स लिटल बिट ऑफ एन ओवर हाइप्ड इंडस्ट्री एंड एंड आई थिंक आई फील दैट बिकॉज आई फील दैट इज फार अगेन इट कैन कम फ्रॉम कंप्लीट इग्नोरेंस बट आई फील लाइक दिस industry has been slightly irresponsible in explaining what it does what what crypto really is or the potential losses that you can incur if you are not doing this you know if it's not done right so to speak they right? lack in creating awareness about it yeah the- and it's it's again and you know no offense to anybody who is doing a good job and is actually being responsible around this but as an industry i just think that it's been a bit irresponsible in how it communicates the risks of uh, crypto as a new uh, medium to make money yeah. it almost seems it, it almost seemed like easy money very easy money it almost seemed like a pyramid scheme aap daloge to aapki life change hogi paisa mil jayega aapko which is just not true right uh, that is true but uh, i must say that you have given a very safe answer i don't you haven't I, mentioned I, any there, brand there is, <laughs> i mean the industry mera the sare industry bol raha hu but wohi to hai na sabko bol do chale ga mujhe point out sare brands is industry ke andar you know mai kya bolu i just all i am to taking banga with the full industry you are saying one brand i am saying meri industry mujhe pasand nahi hai sare brands mujhe bhi gaali denge one of the people i know who work in this industry who will give me gaali okay your favorite social media page except your favorite social media page I typically follow a lot of again young people who really enjoy. I love Vishnu Kaushal. I just oh, find him so funny. He is so funny. He and his brother Govind have yeah. just uh, shot something with them. They're just oh. such sweet, sweet boys, <laughs> and they're so funny and they're <laughs> so stupid and they're so funny. I just really <laughs> like when I get sometimes when I get like uh, uh, I say I mood khara bata na. I mean Vishnu or uh, Govind. And his accent, Govind the Punjabi. Yeah, and, yeah, I'm a Punjabi myself, so I too <laughs> really enjoy yeah. their Punjabi. Uh, you know, uh, Punjabi uncles and aunties. <laughs> so funny they are uh, so i mean i lot of young creators that i really look up i was expecting also, to say i was going to say i was <laughs> i was I, you stopped me when i said i also i was just going to be like i was a really like marketing mind yeah. and then you're like i was expecting you stopped me in between you can go back and edit and check i started saying i also really like and then you just this is on you you didn't you didn't have patience you don't this is the again a problem with gen z you know you ask me patience nahi hai mujhe bolne do na main to bolne bhi wala tha But he gave me. Okay, so <laughs> one question that you don't want me to ask you. One question. I get very bored when people ask me about my journey. You know, I just feel like it's the most asked question. Please tell us your journey. What? How can one fifteen years' का career का journey में तुम कैसे बताएं? हाँ, आधे घंटे मतलब whatever it is, and you know, it's everyone's always obviously there's it's multiple questions. It's just a starter question. Yeah, but I just feel like have a more like you have, you know, have more interesting starting questions. You know, you. ask what is your journey. I just came from Goregaon over here. Took me 30 minutes. It I caught. It took me 10 minutes to find Uber, and then I had to cancel it because it was going in a different direction. That's my journey. Like really, what do I answer? So I I get very like any time they ask, and I have to then still be like as nice and as yeah. sweet as Course. possible, and be like my journey. Let's discuss. I started. बहुत मुश्किल है यार आंसर. बहुत बोरिंग अलग था मुझे क्वेश्चन यार. So yeah, the next question is Nikhil. What's your journey? What? <laughs> I I already answered you. Yeah, thirty minutes it took me. Okay, okay. Uh, one thing you love about Mumbai. I know there are a lot of things you don't. But you see, I I would say Mumbai. There is there is some. I do love Bombay, and I love it very specifically because it is the one place in India where I think it has that energy where almost everything is working towards making you achieve your dreams. Mm. I feel like it's one of the most unique cities in that way where. If you have something that you want to do, it almost seems like the whole city is working towards making that happen for you. And I know that you know a lot of people still don't get it, and you know, not everyone gets success, not everyone gets achieves what they dreamt of. But I feel like everyone finds something in Bombay yeah. that that feels very personal and that very home. Yeah, that that feels like home, and it gives you it in many ways gives you what you needed, even if it's not what you wanted. Yeah. 
Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who is your biggest cheerleader? Ah, uh, that would be my family, of course. Is there something that makes you really happy? Because that something that makes you really happy. See, I am a very emotional person. So again, I think for me, the time that I get to spend with my family is always the thing that makes yeah. me the most happy. I get to meet with uh, them. Of course, when I say family, it includes my wife as well. So every day I get to go home to her. That's a that's my happy space. Every day, every every few months, I get to meet my parents, yeah. my brother. I really, really love that and enjoy that. But outside of that, the thing that makes me happy is movies and TV shows. I am obsessed with TV shows. Okay, what is favorite part of your job? One, one. Hanging out with young people is oh. easily my favorite part of my job. The energy that young folks bring into the room, into our uh, offices, uh, just getting to getting to be with. Yeah, getting to be around yeah. them. You know, I just I know people get very annoyed when there's noise in the you know in the offices. I just love, I love it. You know, when yeah. I'm in my I'm in my room and then outside like. you know people are just you know koi has raha hai koi kuch kar raha hai koi you know koi baith ke kahin reel bana raha hai somebody i just find it so nice that there's this energy you know that young people have that you know we are just i feel grateful to be around that energy i think it keeps me young yeah. and okay uh, what's that one hidden talent of yours hidden talent why do what is my hidden talent tongue knows <laughs> kuch nahi aa raha hai sab kuch <laughs> Ah, uh, hidden talent. Oh, but if I tell you, you can't ask me to. You have to promise me if I tell you, you will not ask me to like. What's the point? No, see then, see then. I mean, you you just ask me a question. You can't like. I, anyway, I have a free free pass. <laughs> that, so yeah. That game you already won. No, but exactly. So uh, <laughs> say you promise. Like I won't ask you. Say it and then I tell you the hidden talent. <laughs> okay. Promise. Yeah, so I'm actually very good at dancing. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't. Oh uh, I used God, to be I very. Just feel like I'm just full of myself. <laughs> I was uh, so let's yeah. nachos here. I've used and the free pass. And why were you like acting like oh my God? No, no. because I mean I'm not. Uh, I don't. Uh, I mean I'm not comfortable doing it on camera. Uh-huh. But uh, but uh, you love dancing. I love dancing. You should see me at parties. I used to uh, be my school dancer, college dancer, sab kuch sab kuch. Like, ek pal ka jina was my college. लाइक लाइफ साउंड ट्रैक एंड बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक बिकॉज मैंने फ्रेशर्स में उसमें डांस किया था उसके बाद हर कॉलेज पार्टी में एट सम पॉइंट आफ्टर लाइक सब दारू पी के यू नो देर कोई ना कोई बोलता ला उस गाने को एंड देन विल निकिल निकिल डांस एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक भाई क्या कर दिया मेरे को last question for this segment okay. what is that one thing that helps you sail through a low day so i am one of those people who actually I mean now it's become a coping mechanism I genuinely there's this line that I really love it's called the sun will rise and we will try again you know which I find somehow very hopeful that you know no matter what happens tomorrow is a new day you know you will have there's a new dawn you can try again so so when i feel low i and if something really bad has happened i just actually just, just go to sleep way. i just go to sleep <laughs> honestly like i just i'm like ki aaj khatam karte hain Kal, Kal will get up and we'll try again. So this was the internet doesn't know, which now the internet knows. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this another thing which is called the hashtag of the episode. Yeah. Uh, 
so you will need your phone for this. Okay. Uh, are you active on Twitter? Yeah, I'm very active on Twitter. Oh, that's lovely. Are you active on Threads? I <laughs> actually like became hyper active on Threads on day one, and since then I've not used it. So <laughs> okay. I realized that I have exhaustion of being on multiple platforms. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, at least I'm active on uh, I'm active on both, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, hashtag of the episode is it? I'll give you one hashtag. Okay. And you have to post a tweet about it. Okay. Sure. Okay. Happy to do that. Yeah. So the hashtag is my favorite movie scene. It's a very difficult one though, because I. And yeah, one scene. Because I know there must be a lot. You are asking someone whose entire life is <laughs> like about movies and where. Uh, <sighs> My Insta ID is Taneja Mehu. Yeah. You know, and people don't get it now because uh, uh, people are younger now. <laughs> But uh, it comes from one of my favorite films of all time called Andaz Apna Apna, where Paresh Rawal in a double role has to identify that he is Teja while the other one is a f- imposter. Okay. okay, both of them have this mark on their face. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain this. I, I recall this. But scene. but the scene, Teja basically, ha, <laughs> but the idea is that you know Teja is in trouble. Uh, so Teja is the gunda and the other one is a rich person yeah. who has been kidnapped and you know has the money. So now. Both both are pretending yeah. to be the Teja. So, uh, <laughs> crime master Goga asks, you know, uh, you know, who is Teja? And he's like, Teja, I'm who? Mar ke dhar hai. And the other person says, Teja, I'm who? Mar ke dhar hai. And I'm Teja, who? My name is Teja. Hai. And so, it just goes on and goes on. And for me, like, this is one of the most epic scenes of all time. Oh so, uh, so, yeah, I just used uh, that, from there, Taneja, I'm who came yeah. from, from there. <laughs> Uh, and no one gets it now because most people haven't seen Andaz Apna and in Gen Z's. So I just feel like, so I have actually got DMs from people whose surname is Taneja and who are just like, maybe Taneja. So I'm like, that was not the point of this. Point was Andaz Apna Apna. Kisi ko samani aata beyond a point of time now. But yeah, it's one of the most epic scenes of all time. Amazing, fantastic. Last yes. few questions. Uh, yes. So now that we know that you have stepped down as the yeah. CEO and now Kevin is the yeah. CEO. So what's next for you? What are you looking forward to? Uh, it's, uh, it's an easy answer. I am going back to my uh, the thing that makes me happy, my happy place as I said. Uh, I'm uh, going to be making and writing and producing TV shows and movies. No. We have uh, a movie and a TV show in development with an OTT platform right now, uh, which I have been very fortunate and grateful to have been able to write and uh, I'm going to produce. These are my stories that I'm going to get into put out in the world. Um, very, very excited about yeah. this. All the best to you, you. and uh, we hope we get to see a lot so more fabulous content. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, this brings us to the last question for this uh, episode. I'm very sad because I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm very sad actually because (laughs) this has been really fun. It has been (laughs) my favorite episode so far. Sorry to everyone else, but yeah. No, you don't have to apologize. I think everyone will see it. It'll be obvious. I think, you know, data will speak. Okay, so yeah. we both enjoyed each other. It's okay. Yeah. And like, other entrepreneurs should also, you know, have... Yeah, unko bhi samaj aana jiye. Yaar, itna asaan nahi hota. Tum kehate, glamorous, even doing this is very difficult. So, okay. learn now. Yes, yeah. Abhi dekho, storytelling yeah. mein bola tha na. <laughs> Sikho aap tum bhi. So, yeah. So, yeah, I was saying yes. that uh, if you have to give one one single piece of advice to everyone out there who is watching this any life mantra any advice yeah, that yeah. you think will help you. yeah so i i mean my philosophy has i think i've repeat, repeated it a bit through this also has been to be kind for the longest time in my life i meant that as as a mantra for us to be towards others you know be kind to everyone around you which i obviously holds true uh, be kind to the you know to the people who you're working with uh, they are investing in your idea they're believing in what you're trying to do uh, it's important to sh- you know and and just i think you know kindness is unfortunately seen as this boring uncool you know thing uh, you know and there are far more glamorous ideas in the world yeah. But I feel like, you know, it is it is the most important trait that a human being can have to make another human being feel, you know, like they matter. So, um, yeah, be kind to everyone, including yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. And thank you for the advice. Absolutely. But uh, apart from this, thank you so much for really making sure that kindness is the new cool. And <laughs> you're just uh, like trying to make this world a better place because we need a lot of kindness for ourselves also and we need yeah. to give it to 
people around us as well and thank you so much for uh, taking out the time coming here doing this interview it was so much fun <laughs> yet insightful and yeah i'm wishing you a 100 fold success in the future thank you, thank you so I much hope like whatever you wish yeah. for it comes true no, thank you so much muskan made me so comfortable you've created such a nice space you've you know uh, again i think these are such fun interesting real formats where you are i think it's so important to have more shows like this where uh, you know entrepreneurs and founders are able to showcase other sides of themselves who are able to have a little bit more authentic conversations who are uh, um, yeah who who are not just just regurgitating you know the lines learned lines and prepared lines about ye meri company hai ye hum kaam karte hain humko follow karo humko dekho hamara product kare do but like a little bit more about the human beings behind the companies that we create so i it's all credit to you and the team at uh, uh, rvcj you, and so uh, yeah I'm, i'm a big fan as i said of marketing mind and uh, the work that rvcj does so happy that i could finally get to associate with you all in some capacity and i hope it continues i hope and that I you know really yeah hope we get a chance yeah, to work and we crossed. get many more chances to work again yeah. because Yeah. It was a wonderful experience. At least when I, I I've, I've been able to give back in terms of some reels that you'll be able to cut out from this. But I hope there's more that that we do together. So thank you so much for appreciating me. Thank you so much for having me. I've had so much fun. I think it's the most fun I've had on any chat show. Same, so same. even I can now I know you've said it for your guests. I can also say it for all the other podcasts and chat shows <laughs> I've been on. This is definitely the best one. Oh most fun I've had. So thank, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. I really hope you loved this conversation and if you did Please like and share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to follow Marketing Mind and Raw Bear on all social media platforms. Do let us know your favorite part about this interview in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. This is me Muskan Behune signing off.